Oh, first casualty of the day. Oh. Ah. Oh. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Today we're out here in Citrus. We got a small group with us. We got a few more uh, Frontiers joining us and uh, we're gonna do some riding around. It was raining all night last night. So everything is a complete mess. As you can see, this here is just from driving down the main road, like not really wheeling, just driving down the main road and there's just clay everywhere. So should be nasty out today. Some of the other uh, people that got here, we got a nice Pro 4X with some uppers and two and a half inch. We got a third gen Tacoma, Forerunner. Uh, what is this, Tacoma? Yeah, <laughs> Tacoma, FJ, yeah. Rubicon. TRD for Coma or Forerunner. We got this guy. We got Felix over there. That's how you know it's been messy out. People get place gets really busy when uh, people know it's been raining and it's nasty out. So uh, should be a fun time. All right, so we're moving. Anytime you see this from the guy in front of you, that's when you know it's going to get interesting time you see the strap already hooked up that's how you know it's gonna be a good day everybody made it that was not super deep i mean it's kind of deep but it's not overwhelmingly deep next one is a really really deep one i don't think anybody's going to try this one but uh i kind of hope somebody does so anyway we'll check it out all right so after everyone realized it's like five and a half foot deep uh everyone decided it was a bad idea so uh we're on the way to the big drop off on 11 and uh we should have a lot of good vehicles to see how they handle uh, the big drop. All right, well, first casualty of the day. Hold it, let me back up. That's rode it out pretty good. I'm high center. Yeah. No magic. No lockers will save you. What size tire is that? 33? 31 and a half. 31, yeah. Just pull them forward. Yeah, just pull them to the Pitch them right there to the um, okay. No, no, no. Shackles. Does when we come out, is it like is it the same track or it should stay on? Uh, <laughs> what do you think? You guys about the same clearance as him? Nah, I'm not uh, going. No way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to buy That's probably where uh, I felt a little resistance on mine yeah. was that bracket. 
Let's drag in the front. It's part white. It's gonna get on it worse. Yep, as everybody goes through. Watch that bumper just come right out. There you go. Much obliged. You can do it now, it's lower. Yeah, it's actually good. <laughs> go get my shovel and you get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this definitely wasn't here last time. I think people come out here in two wheel drive trucks, they get stuck, they sink to the axle, they make giant holes, and they just rut the shit out of it. So uh, the Pro 4X down here, I don't know if he's gonna try it. Nope, he's taking the bypass, which is right there. So. Uh, the Jeep behind him will be going through it. I went through it pretty well, so. But I bet you that front bracket was really close to Dragon right there. Like I said, that guy was on, what do you say, like 32s? And it's a pretty good size. So, anyway. Oh, he's got it. He's cake. This Nissan here has the nicest suspension you can buy almost for a Frontier. No ground clearance. You better not pull that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> here we go. Shut her down, we'll pull you out. So we gotta simulate them. We'll have a little process. Joe, you're redeeming yourself. Hang on a second. Try again. Try going to try again. Nah, he's hung up. He tries to go back. He can't go nowhere. That's can't undo the shackle, so I put a soft shackle on All right, let's try it again. Better hook to a different spot. Oh no, I've snapped that same strap before with this truck. It's not good the angle. Doesn't help that it's so wet out. These are all terrain tires. There you go.
Wish I got a video of the Nissan going through that because I feel like his ground clearance wasn't the same, if not more, and uh, I didn't have any problems. So, who knows? I might have drugged the whole front bracket and not even knew it. But anyway, on to the big drop. So I just came through this one. It was a little deep on the right side. You'll see it drop off. Come on. Woo, buddy. That also was not there last week. good.
Problem is, when he went, he didn't go passenger hard enough. So when you get yeah. here, it's gonna be really hard to turn the wheels. So I think he's coming down the bypass, which is right here. It's a small little ledge here. I mean, it's not really a guide. It's just, just go straight. Just tell him when the drop's gonna be. Try to get a better angle for you guys. All right, four runners up. Felix is going to come down the semi bypass, the easier line, I should say. Wait, wait, wait. He's gonna, he's gonna drop. Yeah. No. Back, back up. Back up. Yeah, he's, he's gonna drop. He's gonna be alright. I'm pretty sure he'll be alright. Yeah, but I don't want to find out that. Yeah. <laughs> if he goes straight, he's fine. He's yeah, straight. Once, he's straight. Once, he's straight. Cut, once he gets this tire across this track, he goes yeah, straight. Yeah, but he's gonna, I'm afraid he's gonna fall in. He might cut it short right here. He's gonna cut, cut it short in the back wheel. Right here. Let's back. Does he have a radio? Let's back up and readjust. Try to back up. You need to you need to move up more. Yeah. Yeah, it was way it was way close. Sorry. It was easier. Like back up and then come straight. It was easier for the Jeep because the wheelbase. I would do this. If you wanna do it, do that do that one. The wheelbase is going to make it hard on that I mean, one. That one, you're almost better off because your wheelbase is big enough. Too long. Fine. I've done it, it when I had a two and a half, and it was fine. It just gets a little hairy, but you're going to be fine. You're, you're, gonna, you're not going to tip over like you would if you yeah. do this. It's up to you. Ain't nobody going to make you. <laughs> Whew, I'll just run it back and forth, but the camera's got me kind of hot. Um, so Felix ended up going around that obstacle, which is perfectly fine. If you're off road with somebody, don't let them make you think you have to do all the lines. You don't. It ain't their vehicle. You can do whatever you want to do. And he's not that experienced off road. And that's a sketchy spot. I've done it 20, 30 times. And every time it's sketchy. So make sure you do what you want to do. Don't listen to nobody else. Not that anybody in this group was doing that, but I've been with some groups who kind of do and, uh, it's bullshit. So anyway, back to the trail. God, look at this hair. I've got to get a haircut.
so many options here. So you got the far one, you got this one, you got this one, you got this one, you got this one. This is the one that I just went down. Come on. All right, tacos next. Pilot, all wheel drive, doing just fine. And then I think Brandon's gonna try this middle one. I don't think this one's deep at all, but uh, maybe it's just getting out of the way. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's a lot of good rigs out here. Had a great time. This is a great group, man. Everyone got along really well, and it was really, really relaxed. So uh, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Take care, and we will see you in the next one.